Carlton's Travel Adventures. Go get your passport. What's up, what's up, Carlton from Carlton's Travel Adventures. Man, I've been avoiding this topic since I came back from Thailand. I'm gonna do it. My friend said, don't do it, don't touch it. I'm gonna do it anyway. Now, I'm not trying to offend anybody. I apologize, I apologize if I do. Some of you guys might like lady boys, I don't know. Uh, so you get, get the topic is lady boys. Now, you know, if I'm in Brazil, I'm in Colombia, and I see a beautiful woman, right? You know, we're men are, are creatures, visual creatures, that's just the way it is. I didn't make us that way, we made that, we're visual creatures. You see a beautiful woman, piques your interest, right? There's something's wrong with you. Most men are like that, you know? So if I see a beautiful woman with nice breasts sometimes, nice body, of course you're gonna look. Almost all guys gonna look, unless you're gay, or you know, whatever, something's wrong with you. Just human nature. And it gets pretty, I don't know, man. I choose my word carefully. I don't want to say disgusting. I don't want to say that. Frustrating. When you see a beautiful girl or a woman, you know, you want to go talk to them or you want, you know, you're interested, all of a sudden you realize it's a lady boy. It's a man. I'm like, damn. It happened so damn often to me in, in Thailand. It got me so frustrated. I, I just, you know, and it seems the most beautiful one you see, I'm serious, you see a really beautiful woman, it's a lady boy, it's a guy, it's a man, you know? Now, I don't know, you know, I've heard about it before, I've seen it on TV, uh, those movies, uh, you know, no big deal, I don't see that often, but I knew about it. But when you're there and have to face it, it's a different story, it's a frustrating story. Can you walk down the street and you see a nice girl like, you turn your eyes and look like, and realize, wait, well, look, look again. Take a top, second look at them. Damn. And your boy, because your boys with you, your boy said, I mean, what do you mean? Uh, Adam's apple. Like, oh shit. Or big hands. Or watch the feet. <laughs> and most of the women don't have thick bodies. They don't have, you know, thick hips anyway. So if the person don't have thick hips, it's not a big deal. You think it's a woman anyway, because average Thai women don't have thick hips. You know? So if the guy doesn't have thick hips, you, you don't think twice about it, could still be a, a woman, you thought, you thought, right? So that happened so often to me, it frustrated the hell out of me. I'm on the bus, a little taxi with an open back, you come in all the time, leave. Somebody comes sit next to you, look at her like, you wanna to talk to the person, you know? Your boy kicks you on, on, from across, you like, the fuck you? Realize, oh, it's, oh okay, he said, give you like the little nod like, some of you can notice it most more than I can right, real fast. You know, I got to look at twice, three times, like, what? Nah, you were kidding me right now. Nah, you ain't right. That's not true. No, 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 no. It is a, yeah, 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 it is. It is. It is a lady boy. So if you're here and you look around the street and see a beautiful woman, picture your interest, you're 99% sure or 95% sure it's a real woman, right? Uh, and I don't know why it's mostly in Pattaya. Tell me why it's in Pattaya and not Chiang Mai. I don't see a bunch of it in Bangkok. Maybe I just didn't go to the right area, you know? I don't know. And, and the thing about it is, I guess there's a lot of European guys there, right? From 60 to 85 years old, I'm telling you, European men, because I hear I'm speaking and so forth, and I've met a couple guys, nice guys from, from Wales. Pretty, pretty cool old guys. Some of them really don't talk to you, some of them are friendly, but some of them are, you know, will talk to you. And I've seen some of them with the lady boys. I'm saying, do they know they're with lady boys? I guess they want to try something new, you know? It's intriguing. And when I ask my boys there, you know, like, tell me more about this shit. Like, I, I never thought about it, never cared about it. Like, do they have, you know what? Or is that cut off or something? They go, what do you want to know for? I said, Come on, man, don't be stupid. I'm not trying to say I'm interested in it. I'm just kind of curious about the entire thing. Like, did they cut it off? You know? Or do you like women? Because they have breasts. They have operation. They have breasts. I don't know. 
then I got then I got curious. I want to go see. It's just interested in like what's the phenomenon about? You know, um, I guess were they I guess born like that or I don't mean born like that. I mean from their kids or they turn later on. I don't know. Anyway, and talking more about that, but it's my point. I, that's one thing I didn't like about Thailand. Didn't like it at all. I'll tell you a quick story. Wrap this up. So. <laughs> it's a gross style tonight, man. Went to El Centro, buy some stuff, groceries, you know. I go to the grocery store almost every day. So I'm walking around, got some money, get some food to eat, some um, arepas, chicken arepas, pretty cool. Nice pot open, got some money, get it. Um, and I was walking towards Centro, then stopped at an exit toll, one exit downtown. And I was kind of from the, from the, we call it the, um, a rapa is kind of, I guess, made my stomach pain a little bit, you know? The students didn't, students didn't sit right. I had two of them. A lot of the hot sauce and everything else. So, let me go to the bathroom, right? Went in the bathroom and exit them. Both stalls were occupied. So I wait, wait around, wait around, wait around, wait around. Like, oh man, I gotta go, gotta go. Wait around, wait around. And the one bigger handicap became available. So, I was just looking down my, toward my feet all the time, you know, and uh, the guy came out of the stall. I looked at him, and man, right away I was like, oh shit, I'm not gonna use that stall, man. Like he had leprosy or something. Because I was looking down for us waiting, you know, and I saw him come out and I saw his leg like full of sores all over his legs, foot, legs, he has no, he has no, um, it's like an open sanders all and a sore all the way up his leg. I'm, I didn't want to look in his face or the rest of his body because that's all those sore there. I'm going, holy crap. I'm going to go in here and sit on, this, sit on that thing. But I always put paper down anyway, right? I always put paper down when I go to the public bathroom. Paper on all in the shit. They really don't have any, um, any seat covers, right? Standard here. But when I saw that, I went in here and I go, I'm not sitting down on that. Not, not even with paper, man. Not even with paper. I said, I'm going home. I don't care if I can't make it home. I do it on the street somewhere, but this is number two, too. I said, I'm making it home, but I'm not sitting anywhere there. What if my, my thing kind of just slipped and touched the side of the toilet or something? And it got leprosy or whatever it is, you know? I'm not doing that. So, guys, use a public bathroom. Be very, very careful. You don't know what's been sitting on that toilet before you, you know, just, just don't do it, man. I, I'm the guy. I don't, I try to avoid it anyway, but sometimes you have no choice, especially when you eat. You know, I, I, I'm stomach very sensitive, as you know, I have a lot of stuff and I figure I can do before I may go home, you know, I have other shopping to do. Um, but after that, I, I got out of the store. I didn't even shop. I just got up to him, went, came right home, used the bathroom, but I don't think I've ever used the public bathroom again, and this is an emergency, or it's in a nice, you know, nice mall or something where, you know, uh, bummers can't walk in there, um, and you just have no choice. And most of the malls have a toilet seat, but it makes me so scary now to use a toilet in public. Don't do it. It's gross, man. You know what it might pick up. Uh, don't forget to like the video. I'm gonna try to do some more this year. So I'm getting excited now. As you know, I'm a big fisherman, as you all know. Big fisherman. That's why I'm living in the ocean. Left beautiful Medellin for Cartagena. And uh, the beach is cool, but it, not anywhere it can really throw you, your line way out there because it's kind of shallow closer in. I know there's fish out here. It smells very fishy. But recently they built two, um, two jetties. One over there, and I'm on right now extend way out into the ocean. I mean, pretty good distance out of the ocean. Probably 200 yards, pretty much 200 yard dash, or a little more. Yeah, so it's a good view. It's, it's really high jetty though, really high. You can't tell how deep, steep it is. We're way up here, a lot of work. Finished it about a month ago and haven't got a chance to come out here yet. I mean, I was traveling obviously. But now I talked to a guy here. He said, yeah, the fishing is good. Some nice big fish out here. So I'm excited. Getting hard on, I'm excited. So, I'm just going, it's like 11, 10 30 now. I'm doing some trading. And Mark will, settle, Mark will settle down by now. I'll trade for about two hours. Then, uh, and do some other stuff. Maybe practice uh, my Spanish. Then come back out here. 
uh, maybe four o'clock to six, and uh, try my luck. This is my new spot now, baby. Excited. <laughs>